you know, you were Britain's first Muslim cabinet minister, and yet now you've resigned the Conservative whip. You know, the Tories have been your home for three decades. Does that feel like a real wrench? Of course it does. If, like me, you feel that the Tory ideology of free market capitalism leads to a corrupt government that's easily bribed, manipulated or even in bed with corporate interests, then it's hard not to view any Conservative as a good one. Tory peer Saeed Avasi is a perfect example whereby people say she's OK and I can kind of agree because she appears to have a moral code. The only problem is, is that she's in effect an enabler, somebody who has supported past incarnations of the Conservatives and so helped in some way pave the way to this current abomination of the Tories. I mean, this has been my family. I'm 53 and for more than half of my life, this has been part of my wider family. And it has been the party in which I have made lifelong friendships, which have gone on to become relationships uh, in so many interesting ways. It's the party where I have grown up as a politician. It's the party that I served my country at the cabinet table. It's the party that I chaired. I was chairman of the Conservative Party. And, and that's why it's broken my heart that over a period of probably the last six, seven years, it has moved and moved so far to the right and the rhetoric has become so dangerous and toxic that it disturbs me. And I think the, the only thing that keeps me going is the fact that what I'm hearing is not a conservative party. What I'm hearing is extremist rhetoric, which in conservative parties of the past would have been rejected. I mean, what I keep reminding people of when they talk about the history of the Conservative Party and Enoch Powell, and I say, yeah, Enoch Powell was seen to be a fringe voice who was sidelined. Enoch Powell didn't serve at the centre of the party and be considered to be a leadership candidate. Click here to ask yourself what you would do if faced with the political trolley problem.